Hello everyone, this is Sorry and Target welcoming you back to another special video where I'm going to be drawing some more hypothetical dinosaur concepts for what new DLC dinosaurs could have looked like if they were added to Carnivore's HD all those years ago. So far in this series, we've conceptualized what the Velociraptor, Spinosaurus, Brachiosaurus, Moshops, Dimetrodon, Allosaurus, Pachycephalosaurus, and Oviraptor could have looked like if they got added to Carnivore's HD through DLC, with that roughly being the order in which I think they should have been added to the game. Now, once work on the Carnivore's reboot resumed with the release of Dinosaur Hunt last year, I kinda hoped these videos could turn from a what if hypothetical art prompt series into some actual concept pitches for new DLC dinosaurs to actually add to the game. But then, a couple of months ago, we got the game's first new DLC dinosaurs, Carnotaurus and Giganotosaurus, dinosaurs that the game didn't really need at that point just unceremoniously dumped in straight from the Unity Asset Store, with lackluster models and skins and sounds and animations, and I kind of thought, huh, I wonder if this concept series is even worth continuing. So I guess we'll return this series into just a fun little exercise in drawing what these dinosaurs could have looked like in the Carnivore's HD style. Now I've been doing this series in a basic priority order of how I think DLC dinosaurs should have been added to the game, starting with the legacy dinosaurs before expanding into the newer ones, and I didn't have Carnotaurus or Giganotosaurus scheduled for this next batch of dinosaur concepts, since again I don't think the game needs them yet. However, since they're both officially in the game now, I went ahead and kicked out a couple of my previously selected dinosaurs and bumped the Carno and Giga up to include them in this video, to compare with what we got. So without further ado, let's design some more hypothetical Carnivore's HD dinosaurs, starting with Iguanodon. The Carnivore's reboots have a good selection of herbivorous dinosaur archetypes already. And if we're continuing this hypothetical DLC list in order, where we've already added back the rest of the Carnivore's legacy dinosaurs, I think the game would be due for another large herbivore at this point, particularly one that can fight back. Now, the Stegosaurus and Ankylosaurus are supposed to be more aggressive than they are in Dinosaur Hunt currently, but even if their behavior does get fixed to be a bit more territorial, another dangerous herbivore wouldn't hurt and I can't think of a better or more well-known dangerous herbivore than Iguanodon. Iguanodon already has a fascinating history within both the Carnivore's franchise and Dinosauria at large. Besides being one of the first dinosaurs ever discovered and described in real life, it's made a few notable appearances within the Carnivore's franchise, even as far back as 1998 where a herd of Iguanodon can be seen roaming the jungles behind the Tyrannosaurus on the box art of the original carnivores, despite the dinosaur not actually making an appearance in-game. In the early 2010s, an Iguanodon was the first custom model made for the carnivores games by legendary modder Gendos, and the animal was officially added to the mobile ports in 2014 as a dangerous ambient creature. So the dinosaur's neat history made it a solid contender for the next hypothetical DLC pick. Design-wise, I wanted this Iguanodon to be appropriately big and bulky, with huge imposing forearms to power those wicked thumb spikes. I imagine this HD Iguanodon being particularly large. The HD Tyrannosaurus towers over every other dinosaur in the game. And I think it'd be cool to see the HD Iguanodon maybe not outscale the Rex, but at least be big and bulky enough to put up a proper fight, kind of like Zerer's Iguana Colossus. As for the colors, I knew I had to base it on Burian's depiction of the dinosaur. Burian's paleo art has been beyond influential for the Carnivore's games, and his Iguanodon illustration is one of the most iconic paleo art pieces out there. So it just felt right giving this Iguanodon those classic reddish brown and green colors, with some bold white stripes running down the back, 
as that not only serves as a nice complement to the other HD Ornithopods bold black patterns, but also functions as a fun 90s style paleo meme. Since most pop culture depictions of Iguanodon at the time feature stripes running down the animal's back. So, I'll go ahead and say it, I don't think Dinosaur Hunt needs a Carnotaurus at this time. Again, if we are continuing my hypothetical DLC dinosaur list order, where the rest of the carnivore's legacy dinosaurs have already been added back in, the game would have Ceratosaurus and Allosaurus as medium-sized predators, and Tyrannosaurus and Spinosaurus as larger predators. So, since the Allosaurus and Spinosaurus should have been prioritized and added to the game first, in my opinion, another medium-sized predator isn't something the game needs at this point. But since the Carno is already here, might as well take a shot at redesigning it, because boy does it need it. Personally, I despise the Unity Asset Store Carno. It's got a big, goofy head with a constant dopey smile. It's got wobbly little legs that bow in like it's some anime girl, and tiny little horns that sit way too far back on its head and look like little dog ears. I would say it looks like a cartoony, Disney-fied version of a Carnotaurus, but Disney actually made a better looking Carnotaurus about 20 years ago. So I'll just say the current Carno looks ridiculous and goofy, and I think we can do better. For a dinosaur covered in spikes and osteoderms and horns whose name means meat-eating bull, Carnotaurus probably ought to look a little more mean and gnarly. And because the theme here is 90s dinosaur depictions, we are showing off the teeth and horns in all their sharp, curved glory. Carnotaurus is also well known for being one of the fastest non-avian dinosaurs we know of so I wanted to make sure it looked appropriately lean and muscular for propelling itself at high speeds, which could have been a more unique feature for the Carno among the other carnivores in-game. Not that the Cerrado and Rex are slow by any means, but emphasizing the Carno's speed by making it incredibly fast yet fragile, kind of like a cheetah compared to the Cerrado's leopard and the Rex's lion, would have been a nice way to differentiate the dinosaur from the other predators in the game. For the colors, I actually tried really hard to not make the Carno red here, as not only is a red Carno a pretty tired paleo meme, in my opinion, but it would have been one more way the Cerrado and Carno are unnecessarily similar. So I decided to go with a dark gray covered in black stripes, since no other dinosaur in the game primarily features this color pattern combo, and I feel like the contrast kind of signifies that this is a dangerous dinosaur built for speed, while serving as nice camouflage if needed. When you think of your definitive, go-to mental image of a dangerous, herbivorous dinosaur, you might think of Triceratops, or Stegosaurus, or even Iguanodon. But for me, I think of Therizinosaurus. What a weird and wondrous dinosaur. There really is nothing else quite like it we've discovered so far. And I think a big, hulking, aggressive, 90s-style Therry would make such a unique addition to Carnivore's HD both in terms of aesthetics and potential in-game function. Because Therizinosaurus is already so weird, I knew there were a number of ways this design could go. 
But one of my all-time favorite theory depictions comes from Roel Martin in National Geographic's Dinosaurs from 2001, which is probably my favorite dinosaur book of all time. And since the timeline matches up, I couldn't resist the opportunity to base my hypothetical HD theory off of Martin's. This theory has an appropriately strange hunchbacked appearance, nearly vertical in posture, which is fitting for the retro nature of carnivores, along with a long curved neck and broad beefy body, balanced out by the appropriately tiny head and short tail. It just looks odd, which not only goes well with Therizinosaurus in general, but matches the naturally imperfect vibe the carnivore's HD dinosaurs give off, as opposed to something like Jurassic World's lean, fit, designed to look aggressive monsters. I knew I wanted this theory to be similar to the HD Triceratops in terms of texture, with lots of bumps and ridges and wrinkles, so I made sure the arms and legs and even the head were appropriately armored. I imagine this theory wouldn't be very fast, but its thick, leathery, armored hide and immense size would make it a bit of a bullet sponge, kind of like the Ankylosaurus, and would require a precise shot to its vitals to avoid using up all your ammunition to bring one down. I like to think that, unlike the other dinosaurs in the game, this theory doesn't actually have to make contact with the player to kill them, since it can reach out with its long arms to strike from a distance. So even though you might think you're safe while barely outpacing this slow beast, you don't want to let your guard down and let it get too close. For the colors, I've always been a big fan of Safari LTD's 1993 Therizinosaurus figure from their Dinosaurs of China line. I've had that figure for over 20 years and it's one of my favorites. Not to mention one of my first introductions to Therizinosaurus as a kid. So I wanted to homage that figure by translating the basic color scheme and pattern into the HD style for this hypothetical HD Therizinosaurus. Again, there's no other dinosaur that uses this exact color pattern combo in-game, and I think the soft aquamarine gray-blue with the dark spots looks fitting on such a strange herbivorous dinosaur. Ah, the Giganotosaurus. The only reason it got in the dinosaur hunt before the Spinosaurus is to capitalize on the release of Jurassic World Dominion. The same reason we got Reborn's mutated dinosaurs back in 2015 when Jurassic World premiered. And what a good idea that was. Uh, anyway, the Unity Asset Store Giga isn't as offensively bad as the Carno, but it still needs a lot of work to better match the HD art style. So let's give it a shot. Most of what I think needs fixing on the Asset Store Giga is the proportions. The current model is very tube-like. The neck is roughly the same width as the body and the base of the tail, and the head is incredibly narrow and pointy. It kind of looks like someone plopped a snake with a beak on top of some wobbly noodle legs. So giving it some more variance in its proportions, like deeper hips, stronger feet, a thinner neck, and a boxier head with that trademark Giga Chad chin, I think helps it look more like a 90s era Giga depiction than the current model does. One thing that really bugs me about the current model are the spikes, especially around the tail. I like that the Giga has dorsal spikes, that helps differentiate its silhouette from the Rex's, but they're so broad at the base and come up to such a sharp point, not to mention they're the exact same color as the rest of the animal's skin, they don't really look like they're a separate armament that's growing out of the skin. They look like they're just sharp lumps enveloped by the skin itself. So I wanted to tone the spikes down and better distinguish them from the rest of the body, giving them that classic edgies mid-2000s look where they flare up higher around the top of the neck and the shoulders. As the name would suggest, I think this Giga ought to be enormous. The current in-game Giga averages around 3.5 to 4 tons, which is about half the size of an average in-game Rex. And I've even seen some Carnos cracking 6 tons. So while the current DLC dinosaurs desperately need some size adjustments, of course, I'd want this Giga to be massive right out of the box for that intimidating first impression. 
There actually aren't that many green dinosaurs in the Carnivores reboot already, so despite it being pretty cliche for 90s dinosaur depictions, I thought green would be an appropriate color for this hypothetical HD Giga. Many of the most well-known Giga interpretations, like the DK Giga, helped serve as inspiration for this design, and I even remember seeing Demir Martin's Dark Forest Giga render on the Reborn cover art during one of those developer interviews about the game from the Reborn Kickstarter era. And all that coupled with the fact that the actual current in-game Giga is also green, a hypothetical green Giga design just felt right. Alright, so there you go guys. These are my takes on four more dinosaurs either freshly conceptualized or redesigned for Carnivores HD. Which of these dinosaur concepts is your favorite? What would you want to see in the designs of these dinosaurs if they made it into the game? And how do you think my concepts stack up to the Carno and Giga we already got in Dinosaur Hunt? Be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Thanks as always for watching guys, you are all truly the best, and I will see you guys next time.